Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. I am just getting up and I thought I would share with you my morning routine and just give you a breakdown of what my mornings have been looking like lately. Today is Saturday, so it's the weekend. My weekends are definitely a lot more different than my weekdays. As, as some of you may know, I do have a full-time job in NPD, so new product development or a health beauty wellness brand. And my morning routines during the week is usually very rushed. I do do the same things, but a lot quicker. The weekends are amazing because I'm able to do them a lot slower and just do it within my own pace, which is definitely what I need being eight months pregnant. Last night was a pretty rubbish night, if I'm going to be honest. I feel like my body is definitely getting used to not sleeping i do suffer with pregnancy insomnia and if i'm not awake because of that then i'm awake because i need to pee every five minutes or because i wake up in the middle of the night absolutely starving and sometimes i can just ignore it which is probably a bad thing and just try and get a little bit of sleep but then most of the time i definitely need to come down and just have a snack so my sleep last night has been absolutely rubbish, so I do not have as much energy. Do any of us really have any energy in the third trimester? Probably not. But I do have a lot to do today. I have a video I need to do, and then I have a few social media content to create. I definitely need to get on, but I'm going to make some breakfast, my first breakfast of the day because again, I am absolutely starving. I'm gonna warn you now, it's not the healthiest. If you've watched my last morning routine, you'll know that I absolutely love applying any sort of essential oil or essential balm. I just love taking that extra couple of minutes in the morning to wake up, alert my senses, and just to take a few moments before the day starts as well. Going in with the morning skincare routine, I have gone back to using the CeraVe cleanser, but this is the cream to foam cleanser because the one I used before I think was the just the normal moisturising one. I absolutely love this. I just wanted a creamier formula because it's winter. I knew the one that I used beforehand was the simple facial wash. I would 100% recommend the cream to foam, especially if you have acne or if you have combination skin. I just absolutely love it. And then although it's winter, I still use the Nivea Sun anti-age and anti-pigment Q10. This is SPF 50. When it does get to winter, I do swap it out for a 30, but I don't have that in this cabinet right now so I've just gone for the nearest SPF. And then getting out of the shower I have just gone in with the Palmer's stretch marks. I know honestly moisturiser cannot get rid of stretch marks. The majority of them are hereditary but the stretching and the itchiness you get with a growing bump is just sometimes uncomfortable so I have applied this and then in the evening I do tend to go in with both or I just use the body oil. Sometimes if I use too much of both then it can sort of like roll up into little balls. Maybe it's because the moisturiser has silicone in it, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I absolutely love using these. I just go in with the normal moisturiser when I have a shower in the morning and I have extra time to get ready and I'm not rushing off to work. So my morning routine hasn't dramatically changed since being pregnant but like I mentioned this morning I do tend to go a lot slower with my day. 
I don't rush about unless I'm, of course, working, then I'm definitely rushing out the door. But when it comes to the weekend, I definitely like a slow, slow morning. Let me know if any of your morning routines have changed due to pregnancy. Is there things that you've added in? Is there things that you've taken out? I have done my makeup and my hair, definitely very minimal, just a little bit more coverage on the skin so i need to now go and make some breakfast because i am definitely starving so this is essentially my second breakfast so we have some scrambled eggs strawberries kiwi and a pan of chocolate have a little bit of juice and then i have my supplements as well so this is a calcium and vitamin d i was advised to take vitamin d and then i have a vitamin b supplement and then i just have an iron supplement as well so that's all i take supplement wise i'm just going to quickly wolf this down and eat it it gets to about this time of the day it's roughly about half 11 and that's a very long morning routine usually by this point i would have already eaten by now but because i have so much on today i feel like i'm just yeah taking a lot longer than usual but it usually gets to about this point of the day where I'm stressing because I've not had, I've not done much and because I do everything in the weekend, I do like to make sure that all my filming is done by lunchtime on a Saturday. I feel like I'm definitely running late. But... So quick outfit change because I need to do the food shop and I cannot go in my PJs. But I just wanted to quickly pop in a clip here of me setting up for my video because I am planning on filming my what's in my hospital bag video. I am definitely very excited with this one. So I'll just turn the camera around and show you what I've set up so far. So this is the diaper bag. I absolutely love this bag. It's got loads of compartments on the inside, guys. Look how cute this hat is. And then this is mine and my partner's bag again. Oh. So I think I've shown you this already, but look how cute this bear suit is. I just, guys, I can't. I'm giving birth next month and I'm just very excited. Well, apart from the whole giving birth bit. And then just a little insight into some of the things that I've packed. I've packed a fan, I've packed a comfort cushion for the car ride home. But also, I bought these bags from Amazon and it comes in loads of different sizes. I'm not sure if buying bags that are not as see-through is a good idea because then you sort of maybe still have to open the bag to see what's inside. So maybe that was not the best idea from myself, but yeah, I've just put every single section of what I need into different little bags. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of what's going in my hospital bag. I'm gonna do the food shop first, get out of the way, get the snacks. I am so out of breath, honestly, pregnancy problems. I am out of breath all of the freaking time. You guys, this coat definitely does not fit my pregnancy belly. It just, it won't go any further, but it's keeping me warm. I just, I didn't think there was any point in buying a coat that could sort of accommodate my bump. I mean, I've only got a month to go before she's here. So I've just been sort of wearing coats and not being able to zip them up. Let me know in the comments if you're, if you've been the same, if you just didn't bother buying a coat, because I feel like it just definitely won't do up because she's definitely getting big. Definitely the most important aisle in any store ever. So that is the food shop done. I always do my food shop on a Saturday and every single time I hate it because it's just way too busy. There's so many people out and it just, 
I get a little bit overwhelmed, especially when I can't get down the aisles. And honestly, like eight month pregnant me, trying to control a trolley going around aisles is just absolutely ridiculous because I'm not strong enough for that. But yeah, so that is the food shop done. But also, I feel like I need to tell you about my little ritual. When I do the food shop, every time, every time I do the food shop and every time I drive home, I have to get a chocolate bar just to sort of like calm myself down from the food shop. Just have a little me moment in the car because I feel like all the me moments are in the car. I feel like the car is the place you go to when it comes to being a bit of mosh, having a good chat with yourself, having a good talking to yourself. But it's also the time that I like to just before I continue with my day. I almost feel like being in the car is some sort of weird time travel thing where time just stops and you have a moment to yourself. So I always, always buy a chocolate bar for the way home. And today's pick has to be a Whisper Gold because I feel like they're the most elite chocolate bars ever. Let me know if you're the same. But yeah, so I'm just, I've done with the food shop now. I'm gonna go home. I think I'm gonna have some lunch because I'm starving and then, I need to do my hospital bag video. I am so out of breath and I'm so tired and last night's sleep is definitely taking on an effect so I definitely need to hurry up and get things done. Just a quick snapshot of lunch. I have a fake ham and cheese sandwich on tiger bread and then I have a honey nugget with some blueberries. So I completely forgot that I have to film a reel today for a brand. So the product that I'm going to be creating content for today is Free Rider. These are their bump support leggings. And honestly, you guys, these are the best leggings ever. Like the quality is so thick, it's so breathable, and it just gives you that extra little bit of support. It gives you sort of like, a tighter fit at the bottom as well. So I'm just throwing together a few outfits that I can sort of style with these. So I've just finished the leggings content. I am now sweating and I feel like all of my energy that I had for today has now completely disappeared. But I just wanted to quickly show you the leggings. As you can see, they're not see-through at all. They have like a butt compartment. And then as you can see, it's supporting my bump. So it does go quite high on the waist. And usually when it comes to leggings, I hate anything on my stomach. But with these, they actually feel really, really comfortable. These are the most comfiest leggings ever. I will leave a link down below if you want to check them out. I also just wanted to show you the aftermath of said content. Welcome to my wardrobe. These are the clothes that currently fit. There's not a lot there, but yeah. This is just the aftermath. Hey guys, so I'm just coming on to end this morning routine vlog. As you can see, I have changed straight back into my comfy pajamas. It is almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Honestly, me having a really slow paced morning routine definitely takes me a lot longer than usual. Obviously being eight months pregnant, I am out of breath all the time and I just, I can't do things as quick as I used to because yeah, it just, my energy levels honestly started down here this morning and now they're literally on the floor. But yeah, so I thought I'd just quickly pop on and end today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you don't already and you've been absolutely loving my videos or if you want to know when my obviously a hospital bag video is coming out, then don't forget to click that notification bell. And I will, I was about to say I'll see you next week with a new video, but I suppose you should hopefully see me on Friday with a what's in my hospital bag video. Bye.